Oh, hey, uh, welcome to a live uh, edition of Hey Josh, what you drinking? With me, Josh. Uh, so I'm just mecking around with the old uh, YouTube, and I'm uh, given the this live uh, streaming um, uh, feature a try for the uh, the reviews. I've done a little uh, write up on the the brew that I'm gonna try today. Um, uh, all right, so live from the yellow room uh, in my my house in uh, Canada. Welcome, welcome to the, to an edition of. Hey, Josh, what you drinking? Huh, what am I drinking today? Uh, okay, well, not so long ago, I was up in uh, the Wakefield area of uh, Quebec, and I stopped at the Wakefield General Store looking for a specific beer that they didn't have from uh, our friends at Gainsborough. Gainsborough? Gainsborough? Pardon me. Uh, brewery. Uh, like I said, I didn't find the one I was looking for, which was the, the Scottish Wee Heavy, I think it was. I can't remember for sure now. And I have it all written down elsewhere. I'm always on the lookout for that one. If you have the, uh, if you have that one, you want to send it to me, please, by all means. But I did, as I mentioned, pick up a few selections, uh, this one being one of them. This is the... Oh, first of all, wait a second. It's the... It's the Road Trip Series. It's the Orange Tie Wrap. It is the Saison Tropical. La Orange. So I, I'm not a French speaker, uh, and I can barely read it, but what I gather from the little uh, blurb on the back here, we have a Sisson that is a road trip series, uh, zest uh, orange, lime, um, serve it cold, complex aromas, fruits, uh, tropical. All right. I'm pretty pumped to get into this. Let me grab my cup. All right. Got my glass. So as I mentioned in uh, what I've written about it in the uh, descriptor, uh, Sison, I would expect it to be fairly tart. Uh, this one lists the IBUs of 25. So it's, uh, did it, uh, you know, on the low end of of medium medium rare <laughs> medium rare in the uh, ibus so it should be somewhat bitter i'm expecting it to be fairly tart because of sisson uh with the uh, uh orange and the lemon peel i would expect it to have a fairly heavy aroma of uh, uh, uh citrus fruit uh this style of beer, the Sisson, I would expect a somewhat, I'm going to say spicy, but I don't mean spicy like hot spicy, but spices like um, pepper. I would expect a little uh, uh, like peppery uh, herb, earl, herbal spiciness. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, Fruity, I'm expecting it to be fruity. I'm expecting it to be uh, a, a tart. I'm expecting it to be somewhat, oh, hello, dog. Somewhat uh, 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 anywhere from a, uh, a pale, uh, my, my beagle just walked in. Hi, beagle. Would you like to join the, come on, beagle. Come, join. Come on. Good boy. Come on, let's come on. No, you do not. Um, uh, golden, pale gold to anywhere from pale gold to uh, uh, somewhat deep copper. I don't know what to expect of this. This is ex uh, some kind of exciting uh, and uh, a mystery to me. Uh, let's get into it and see what we've got. Okay. Okay. Definitely has the somewhat peppery earthy uh, uh yeasty aroma to it i was expect from a 
from this style of beer. The uh, it's got a fair amount of tropical fruit aroma, but not as much um, orange and lime as I would have expected. All right, let's pour this out and see what we've got. Okay. As expected, golden in color, very highly carbonated. That's that's normal for this style. Somewhat hazy. Uh, again, normal for this style. Uh, in fact, I believe this says it is unfiltered. Yes, non-filtered. So this looks like I would expect it from this style of beer. I'm very happy with the the look of this. And, and the head on this beer is, is impressive. Look at that. I've poured it out and it's barely moved. Uh, foamy, rocky type head that's got so far a lot of lingering power. And as you can see, well, maybe you can't see, a whole lot of very tiny, tiny bubbles. Nice, nice uh, carbonation on this. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, I got my first comment here. Oh, look, my comments coming on here say uh, jerk off with wet girls. Yeah. Hey, well, sure. Uh, I'm going to not allow those mess. <laughs> Okay, uh, back to the beer. Uh, Beagle wants out. Beagle wants to sit under my desk on my feet. Um, yeah, it's got the. It's got a tropical fruit type aroma. I'm uh, again not so much the citrus, but like pineapple, mango kind of aroma with the um, definitely that that earthiness to it that I was expecting and still look at that I've talked now for a good five minutes about the appearance of this beer and it's still got all this head on it that's pretty impressive all right um, eight minutes in it and I haven't even tried the beer yet let's try it hmm Okay, there's the orange. Wow. Nice citrusy flavor. The uh, the carbonation on this really just like hits your tongue. Doggo, what you doing? He's a silly dog. Um, it's got the... the it's got that fairly distinctive uh, uh, Belgian saison, a uh, yeasty, almost clove-like aroma, or pardon me, flavor. Kind of uh, push into the uh, a somewhat banana kind of flavor, but oh, this is this is very good. Uh, my dog's being silly. This used to this orange room used to be my my son's room before he uh, well destroyed it. And you can see there's some, some holes in the wall. And uh, hey, if anyone, I have a, a whole bunch of Levi's for sale. If anyone wants to uh, make me an offer, anyway. Um, again, let's get back to the beer. This is really nice. It is a uh, it's lighter in flavors. I'm, I'm, by, I don't mean lighter. I mean much more subtle in flavors than I would have expected from this. It's much less tart than I had expected, but it's still very good. I, I this is this is very nice, and seven and a half percent alcohol. So this is this is a this is a sipper. This is not a this is not a a, a, a quaffer. This is a one, maybe two, chill out, enjoy the day savor the beer all right uh, 
It's very nice. So um, I'm not going to finish all the... Yeah, I am probably going to. I'm going to take it easy on this beer and not uh, finish it all at once. So thank you for joining me for this uh, live from the Yellow Room edition of Hey Josh, What You Drinking? Um, please do the things with the, uh, the the subscribe and like and the, the, the ding, the uh, notifications. And if you'd be so kind as to do the things with the... Uh, in the banner up top, you'll see the little link that says uh, socials. Join me for uh, beer content on on uh, thatbeerthing.ca, both on Insta and TikTok. Uh, I, those really just kind of feed you over to here. The, I will be announcing the official launch of thatbeerthing.ca shortly as we're working out the final final bits of it uh my my writing partner and a, a website partner just came back from a, a trip to costa rica and she's got some uh some neat stories about the the brewery and the beers that she visited and tried there so um all right cheers thank you for watching also i really like the can the looks on the can i've I'd love to get myself a VW bus and just drive around drinking beer, talking about beer. All right. So cheers. Thank you for joining me for this live edition of Hey Josh, What You Drinking? Take care. Until next time. I need to find a tagline. <laughs>